Simply put, concussion is an injury to the brain. Now, these injuries can range from very minor, where the athlete clears very quickly and there's very little damage to the brain tissue itself, or it can be quite serious, where the brain is what we would call concussed, and this brain trauma can last for prolonged periods of time. Here at IUP, we have a multifaceted program in order to manage our concussions. When's it best to return an athlete back to sport? That's always been a, an issue. Sometimes we can make a diagnosis of concussion, but when is it safe for that athlete to go back? And we obviously want them to go back as safely as possible and also as soon as possible. So now we have some new tools that allow us to do that. One of them is the uh, computer-based program that we use here at IUP. A lot of the professional teams use them in football, baseball, hockey. Actually, IUP has been using the neurocognitive testing since 2002. We started doing baseline testing on all of our football players in 2004, and our women's and men's basketball player have been baseline since 2005. Uh, we use this just to make sure that the brain is functioning. Uh, one of the other things that this program does is it actually has uh, a section in it where they give us all of their symptoms. Basically, it's a symptom inventory. So it asks them, have they, do they have a headache? Do they have uh, nausea? Have they vomited? Um, are they irritable? Do, are they sad? I was on second base and went to go steal third. I dove in to steal instead of slide in feet first, and the way that I landed caused a, my head to kind of whiplash, and then that caused the concussion. I continued to play the game. I really didn't feel much different. It started to hit me about an hour after the game. First thing I went to do was saw uh, my trainer, uh, Jess. Uh, at that point, she first, one of the first things she had me do was just take the impact test. I took the impact test. My memory composite scores were very low. Memory, my memory scores in pretty much all categories were very low. If the, the measures weren't taken that were, uh, I may have just, you know, the education they've given us from the square one, they give us a form, they show us videos about things that could happen if you play while you're still symptomatic. I may have just returned to play and uh, subjected myself to further damage. Once you've been diagnosed with a concussion, the brain goes through a healing phase. And during that healing phase is also the brain is very vulnerable. If you were to get hit again during this vulnerable state, you could develop something called second impact syndrome, which could be very, very devastating. There's a number of goals when we consider concussion management. One is the protection of athletes. But secondly, here at IUP, we have to also consider the development of our young professionals, our students that are going to go out into the field and treat and be on the front line for care of concussion. Well, here today we're simulating an athlete who has a suspected head injury, who is either non-responsive or unconscious. Uh, so a lot of the things that we can practice in the classroom setting as far as memory and amnesia and, and clinical reasoning and so forth, we can't necessarily uh, do with an unconscious patient. So here we can mimic um, having to take vital signs, looking at pupillary reaction, assessing breathing rates, so forth, things that uh, then we, we put a sole scenario together, they then have to make decisions as far as what's the next course of action. I believe that the collaboration we have with a number of other professionals in the field, being our medical directors, team physicians, both our clinical and curriculum athletic trainers, as well as our nursing department, the many um, facilities and resources they can provide, helps us to greatly prepare our student athletic trainers in the care of sports-related injury and concussion.